Are you stressed and feeling like falling apart? When you get really hot, is it hard to stay composed and do you feel like you're losing your function? Well, you may be a 20 year old girl or you're a protein. And if you're a protein, then I have something that can help you. Heat shock proteins. Now what are heat shock proteins? These are a type of stress protein that are produced in high quantities when the cell is exposed to a stressor. This includes heat, but also includes other stressors like cold temperature, lack of oxygen, toxins, mechanical stress, and UV radiation, just to name a few. Basically, any state that changes the environment of the cell and would harm the functions of the cell, including protein folding. I'm glad you asked. Heat shock proteins work by refolding and checking the protein to see if it's folded correctly. There are many ways these proteins work, but we will focus on two main ones. The first is, as a protein is being synthesized in the ribosome, heat shock proteins can help newly synthesize misfolded proteins by binding to the exposed hydrophobic patches and refolding them. Having exposed hydrophobic regions is bad because these structures want to be on the inside of the protein and away from the water-rich cytoplasm. This process also requires a form of energy, which is ATP, which comes from removing one of the phosphate groups. The second way is after a protein is already synthesized, heat shock proteins can help by providing better folding conditions for the entire protein in its chambers and can check the accuracy of the folds. It does this by capturing the protein in one subunit, then allowing it to refold. It then captures another misfolded protein in order to release the first one. This process also uses ATP as an energy source Sometimes these heat shock proteins can help, which can come in the form of cofactors. These can help perform activities like hydrolyzing ATP, giving the heat shock protein the energy it requires. Why are proteins so important? Proteins need to fold properly because their function is related to their structure. Proteins play so many important roles in our body, such as transport, regulation, acting as enzymes, help with structure and signaling, as well as many more. So even though our cells can be stressed too, they always have a way to cope and bounce back. Thanks for watching.